Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. Before you watch the video, think about subscribing. If you're a creator, I have TubeBuddy, I have the link for that on my channel. Click on that, it's completely free, but it does help me out if you decide to download it and install it. And let's go. Today's video is a barbecue build, not a computer build. It's barbecue season, so I thought, you know what, let's do something a little different. So I got a barbecue here for you. I'm going to show you an unboxing. If you don't want to watch the unboxing, you can skip right to the uh, video of everything going together. And I'll put a little link uh, or time code so you can know where that's at. So you can just skip the first part because uh, it can be a little boring. And uh, yeah, so enjoy. Okay, so here we have the Aeron 25,000 BTU propane gas barbecue made by Terra Gear. And it's barbecue time, so let's get this out of the box and uh, put it together. Okay, so it comes with our manual, which we'll need to put it together. Two grills. Oh, this is kind of cool. First, she comes with all your nuts and bolts and everything. All labeled, so you know how to put it together. And we got more pieces here. Okay. So that's going to be that's going to go on the one side or the other side, whichever one you decide to put it. Okay. So this is going to be our burner mechanism. There's our cable. This will hook up to the propane tank, and that'll probably go on the side of the barbecue. Now we got two brackets. Figure out where those go in a minute. And of course your automatic push start. So this is going to be one of your burners. This will probably connect to our uh, automatic starter. And we got more pieces. Okay, so these are going to be handles, maybe for the top, we'll see. Wheels. Because you got to move it around. At least a little bit now and then. Well, we'll figure out what these are. And we've got two of them, so. And that's for the drip tray. And of course that's the drip tray. So I'm just going to go in there like that. And it'll set underneath. So this has two sides. So we have one on this side and this is going to have another one on the opposite side. Okay, so that's going to be the front of your barbecue where all your knobs and dials are going to go. So obviously this is going to be your legs. One on one side and one for the other side of course. This is, this is going to be where your barbecue is actually going to be. So everything on the set ends high here. Alright, so when you get this out, be very careful, it's very sharp along these edges. I don't know why they need to have them that sharp, but anyway. So that's going to be inside your barbecue. I'm assuming it's going to be in there like this. But as we put it together, we'll find that out. We've got a couple pieces left here. So this is going to be the bottom of your barbecue. Right. Oh, nope, that's the top. Because there's the thermostat. Tells you when the temperature is. And we have more of the, okay, so I know what this piece is. This is where you roast your, once they got hot enough and you want to keep them warm or put your buns on them or all that kind of stuff. It's going to set up top. Okay, so we have more legs. This is interesting. Okay. So we got everything out of the box. Assembly time. Okay, so just so you can get a look at all the different parts, this is the illustrated parts list. Okay, so 
if you look at it, you can just pause it and go through it so you know where everything is going to go, what everything is, and that way you don't have to worry about it later on. So the first thing you want to do is get out your tools. So they give you a screwdriver and a couple of wrenches. Okay, so you can just see that. And you're also going to need the legs. All right, so we want to get that out. So first you're going to take your four bolts and your lock washers. Okay, and just put them on and get them ready. Okay, so when you put it together, this is the this is the longer legs, and this is the shorter, because once you put the wheels on, it's going to raise up. So just keep that in mind. And you want to make sure that the hole is closest to the short end, not the tall end. So all I did is you set this piece, this is the A piece, down here, and then it's going to screw on here, and the same thing on the other side. And thus is the beginning of your barbecue. So when you're putting these legs together, don't forget to include um, its C, the screw bolt, the lock washer, which is D, and the flat washer, which is G. I forgot the washer, so I just went back and put them on both sides there. And now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so something to keep in mind when you got it together is make sure that these are on your inside. You got two here, and you got two more here. If those are in the inside, when you go to put in your C, you're not going to have anything to fasten them to because there's just openings here that goes on the top and bottom. And that's just going to go in there and you're going to fasten that in. So these are the screws that you're going to need when you fasten your C-panel. And they are like screw bolt AA, the lock washer DD, and the flat washer EE. All right? And you'll have four of those to lock them in place. So once it's fastened in, you can see how it looks. You're going to put your wheels on next down here. And that'll raise it up and it'll level it off. Okay, so putting on the wheels is pretty simple. Once you figure out what you need. First off, you need this little bar, which we didn't know what it was to start with. You're going to feed it through from this end. And you have what's called TT, which is your little package, which just slides on. Again, on both sides. And then you're going to put your wheels on making sure that the ones with the little points on it, okay, the ones with little points on are going to be on the outside. So you're just going to put it in like this. And same thing on the other side. And you got to position them to a way so you can get your nuts on to tighten them with. And they're just going to go on each end. Okay. So once you get one on both sides, then you can tighten it up. And that'll be the end of that part. Okay, so once you've got the wheels on, you've got these four little things here. And you've got what this is. So I didn't know what that was initially. It basically just covers everything up. Keeps everything here from rusting and just gives it a more polished look. And it just goes on like this. Just line up the hole and then just push it in like that. And you do the same thing on the other side, of course. So the next step is putting on the top pieces. So you've got these two little pieces here. One's going to go on this side and this one goes on this side and then you're just going to push them down. Okay, so one of the things I just wanted to point out is when you put these top two pieces, okay, so from here and from here, they just push down, keep the tabs, so you can see them here. So you need to have those along with this one on the bottom because when you go to put your other pieces in place, that's where you're going to screw them in on. So just keep that in mind. So the next piece that's going to go on, even though they have labeled it wrong in the actual manual is the same as the bottom piece this one here so it's going to go on right there it's going to fasten into these ones here and that's all there is to it okay so when you put this together you're going to need your screw bolt a which is aa the lock washer which is dd and the flat washer ee 
and you're going to need four of those. So the next piece that's going to go on is this piece right here. And of course it just goes right over top with your four screws that are going to go in there. And of course when you do it, the writing is going to be the correct way. That's how you can tell. Alright, so it's just going to go in there like this. And fasten it on. Tighten it with your screws. It's going to be the same screws as last time. And it will set in place and look just like that. Alright, so we're going to do that part. So the next piece that's going to go on is the uh, valve assembly. Okay, so the valve assembly here is like attached just to this. So you're just going to fit it inside. You can just put it in and just let it set there. It should set there without any real problems. It'll set on the inside ledge. Now you're going to get your knobs and you're going to put those on. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'll show you as I do each part. Okay, so a little trick to putting on your knobs and your valves and everything. There's two little holes here on both sides and two on this side. So when you're doing it by yourself, put the um, screw on one side here and just slightly tighten it and then do the same thing here. That will help you to hold it in place. Then you can put this piece, this piece here in and then put it in place, line up your other hole and then tighten that down. Once you've done that, this one's going to be aligned already. Then you can just put that over top, slide it underneath your screw here, put your other screw in, and then you're going to be done. So then the only thing left after that is your knobs. Okay, you're turning everything on and off, and it's just a push on. So once you've everything's on, you're going to line that up. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to get that in here. You've got a flat part, and you've got a, on the bottom and a round part. And when you look on this, you'll see... There's a flat and there's a round. So you're going to push it on according to how this is shaped. All right, so I hope that makes that a little bit easier to do it. Because otherwise you need two people. If you've got two people, then you don't need to worry about it. It'll go on just fine. Okay, so that just gives you a look at the reverse side of things. And you can just see all the way down to the little knob, which is going to connect to your propane tank. And that is it. And I'll turn it around and show you what the knobs look like. Okay, so we got everything on. Now it's just push to turn. And it's off. And you just push them in when you put it on. Okay, just push it in good and hard. And once it's on, now if you pulled hard, it will come back off. But then, of course, you should only just have to push to turn it, push to turn it off, you know, the standard, and once it's there, it's locked in place. All right, so we're getting there. Off to the next part. Okay, so the next piece that goes on is your igniter. Okay, so it's just going to go in here. Now, they tell you to put it in and just tighten it. Well, what they don't tell you is that this piece here comes off. Okay, maybe they just assume you're going to know. All right, so just this piece here. here. A little nut that's gonna come off now that you got it off then you can set it in there okay it'll set flush put that back on on the back it'll go right over top and then you're just gonna tighten it just tighten it by hand okay and there's your Igniter. Loud. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't kill your ears. So next we're going to start putting together the next bigger piece, which is going to be the basin for where your grill is going to be set. But first, we have to attach these two brackets, okay, which look like that. Okay, so one's going to go here, and the other one's just going to go on the other side. To fasten these on, you're going to use screw bolt FF from the outside of the grill body into the pre-drilled hole and you're going to attach it using the heating insulation washer or LL and a flat washer KK and a lock washer JJ onto each bolt and then screw a wing nut onto each bolt and tighten them by hand 
and I'll show you what each one of those looks like here in just a second. Okay, so this is what they all look like. And you're going to use four sets of these, two on each side. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like afterward. So when you're attaching them, this one here is going to be on the outside. And then your wing nut and your heat uh, washer is going to be on the inside. And when you're done, it'll look like this. So we're just going to put the other one on this side and repeat on the other side. And then we'll be done that part. So when you're done, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so you see your lock nuts on both sides. And we'll move on to the next step. So next is this little piece here. All right, there's two of them. Bust them on, you're going to need the heat washer. You're going to need a flat washer that's underneath. And the bolt. All right, and on the other side, this one right here, it's a wing nut. And so you're going to go on this side and you're going to fasten it on the other side. I'll put one on and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so after having a second look and realizing this little piece here is your hinge. Okay, so it has to go on the back, not, not in here. You can secure it on here, but it fits on the back. Okay, because when you open your hinge for your top, it's going to go back and these are going to be your hinges holding it back. So, in any case, hinges are going to go on with the uh, little opening here. So I'm assuming you're going to have a nut and bolt going there at some point in time. And the other one's going to go on this side here. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to set this on top of the frame that you've already built. But one of the things I realized I missed in one of the steps is this part, which is the part K. It just goes on here. So put a screw on here, okay, one of all sides. And I'm just going to put this one in here. I'll fasten that on, and then we'll continue with the rest of the uh, barbecue build. So after you, after you put your brackets on and you've got your hinges in the back, basically you're just going to set this in here. Now you're going to line it up. There's two screws, one here, one here, and on the other side there's two more. So you're going to line those up. Once you've got them lined up, then you're going to put your bolts and you're going to secure it to your frame. And now you've got the bottom part of your barbecue done. Okay, so in order to secure them in place, you need the double A screw bolt, which is AA, the lock washer DD, and a flat washer EE. Okay, and you're going to tighten all these by hand, and once they're tight, you will secure them with a screwdriver. Okay, so I've got two of them in now. One's here, and the other one is over here. Now, when you tighten them, just tighten them just enough to get a bit of a bite, so just in so that they're in the holes, screwed in just a little bit so that you get all of them in evenly and then as you tighten them you're not going to pull one side to the other not that I don't know if it matters or not but it's just me alright so once everything's in place and the screws are all tight so you can see these ones here you can go ahead and tighten them all down okay so the next step in the, putting our barbecue together is the burner so you've got the pipes here and all we're going to do is, is first, this part goes in here, and you're just going to set them down. Now, that sounds like the easy part, and it, it is. So one of the things you have to pay attention to as well is to line up the heat pipes on the inside with where the knobs are. And I'll show you what I mean by that, and I'll just turn this around and show you. Okay, so when you put that down through, one of the things you want to look at is these here have to connect onto where these knobs are from the valves that you put in. So in here, on both sides. So when you put it through, you're going to line it up and you're going to fit it on. So we'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. So once you've got those pushed in, these are going to slide over top of where your valve was sticking out before on both sides. So something that is a little bit hard to see 
is how you're going to secure this. So you can't really see it, but underneath here, there's a little hole where your bolt and your screw and your washer are going to go up, and that's going to fasten your burner so it's in place. And there's one on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll see if I can get a picture of it afterward to show you what it looks like. Okay, so before you put those two uh, bolts of the washers and everything in there, you're going to need this piece here, okay, which of course this is going to go up through underneath. And just to show you uh, exactly how that looks like, I'm going to show you the actual diagram so you can get a better look at it. So here you can see this, this other piece and how it's going to go up underneath to fasten on to this here. So it's going to be underneath here. Your bolts are going to go through the, um, it's called the AE panel. And then you're just going to secure it. And you can see where it says AE right here. All right, so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you the after uh, the finished product. Okay, so one of the things I want to show you, it was the most frustrating part of this entire build is this heat shield okay so this part goes over there's a groove in here that it goes up that it tucks into but you have to screw it now if you can see notice this piece is curved okay and then I built it flat along here okay this is a soft metal all right so what you wind up having to do is you kind of have to shape it so that it will go in there and be able to touch with your um, plate on top so you can fasten it on. If you don't do that, you're going to do what I did and you're going to struggle with this for like forever until you finally figure out that, oh, it's soft metal and if I bend it a little bit, I can twist it into shape and then it will go on. So once that's on, you can also see here where I've, just, I've connected the cable to your igniter right so that part of it is done and that was the most frustrating part of this whole thing so I hope that helped somebody out okay so the next step in our process is putting the grease cup underneath to collect any grease that comes down through here when you're barbecuing so you've got a couple of different ways that you this just goes in here okay I'll just show you that there's two little holes and it's just gonna connect like that now, before you do that, because this is supposed to come up from the bottom of this hole, but it doesn't go very well. So, there's another way to try that, which I'm going to do right now while I'm filming it, and hopefully this goes okay. I am simply going to put it in like this, and I'm going to squeeze it. And hopefully this will work. Now that's going to set there, and your dish is going to set underneath, and we'll just hook that on. But I'm not going to worry about that too much right now, um, but at least now you know how it was done. So once you've got that in there, because um, I put it in, uh, I tried both ways, this way, and of course they show it coming up from the bottom. I found it easier to just to put it in and then just push it down through. It went down pretty easy actually when I applied a bit of pressure and now when you do that you're gonna to have to take the wires in the bottom and just stretch them out just a little bit so that they'll have a little bit of tension on them so when you put your um, grease pan underneath it'll hold it properly okay so we're getting near the end here so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna align the holes of the heat insulation panel AD with the holes on the lid now if you're going by the manual and you, and you should use it, but that's why I did the video, is because the manual is flawed in a lot of places. So that is not labeled correctly, okay? So just be aware of that. So when you're looking for the part, it's this one right here, okay? Nothing fancy about it, and it's going to go here, all right? You got the handle going in the back, and of course you got the bolts. So you got the handle in the back and you got the bolts that will fasten it together and you'll tighten it all together and make sure it's good and secure 
and the um, you're going to use the flat washer EE, lock washer DD, and bolt AA. I know I didn't say the bolts all the way through, but um, that was never my intention was to name them all out, but I'll do it as often as I can remember to help you out a little bit, just to speed the process. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that all on. It's pretty simple. And we'll move on to the next part. So when you're done, that's what it should look like. Handles on. Okay. you got your plate inside and your bolts and your washers. And that will be used many times when you open your barbecue. So, next part. So the next step is to put the top on top of the uh, actual barbecue. And I'll show you how that works. So first off, you're gonna set it in place. Then you're gonna come around to the back and you're gonna put these, make sure that the outside, so these are gonna fit on the inside of here, on both, both of them. And you're just gonna align them. So once you have the holes aligned on, on both sides, then you're gonna put your little pin in. So I'll show you that too. Okay, so these are what you're going to put between the holes. You're going to feed it through. Then you're going to use the little pin there to go through that little tiny hole and lock it in place. Okay, so once you've got this aligned in place, then you're just going to take your, your little pin and you're just going to go down in this hole. And you're just going to push it down until you hear it click in place. So once you've got this in here, this will go down. It's going to sit there. It's a bit loose, but that's okay. Now you're just going to do the other side. So when it's all done, cotter pins are all the way down on both sides. So uh, I had to give this one just a bit of a pounding with a rubber mallet, just because it didn't quite want to go through. And I could see it was clear of the hole. Put a little pressure on it. Didn't hurt it anything. And then I was able to just put the pin in. And now we have our lid on, and we're going to continue on. So the next thing we got to do on our barbecue is put the right shelf on. So you want to grab the one that has the holes, okay? Because then you're going to include the handle, which is going to go on with your bolt, lock washer, and washer. Okay, two of those. Fasten it on underneath here. And then we'll attach it to the barbecue. Okay, so when you go to attach your uh, right shelf, you've got four little screws here. So you just want to bring them out about a quarter of an inch, which I've already done. And then all you do is you take your shelf, and you can see how you got your holes like this, and you've got four of them. Okay, so you're just going to put that in there, line them up. And then once they're lined up, they should go in place. You just want to make sure they're in there good. Check them. And then just tighten those four screws up. And then your shelf is attached. Okay, so there you can see how it's setting. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side. And then once you uh, tighten that, then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the shelf on the left-hand side. Okay, so once you've got both your left and right shelves on, there's one little thing you want to do after tightening both of those shelves on. I'm just going to try and show you these. Now, right down here, as you can see kind of dangling, people go, well, what is that? Well, that is a, it's called a match stick holder. What its intended purpose is, is should your automatic igniter not work, you can put a, uh, some kind of igniter in that, use, well, they refer to it as match stick, but what you actually use, it doesn't say, but you use something that you could just scrape and it would ignite kind of like a normal match, thus the matchstick holder. And that way you can ignite your barbecue still. All right, but honestly, if your automatic igniter goes, you can probably just go down to like your local Home Depot and buy one for not very much. So that's what that's for if you're ever wondering. So at this point, your barbecue is almost all put together. So we just got the things to put over the heating plate, 
the grills that hold on your hot dogs, hamburgers, all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to move in closer and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is where your little brackets that you put in place come into place. So you've got the two here and you've got the other two over here. So now you've got this piece here and it just kind of fit onto those slots. It sets on. And that's all there is to it. All right. And of course your burner is underneath that. So now the next thing you're going to do is one of the uh, rack. So this is going to go on next. And it just sets there. Just sets there just like that. So when you're setting it in, one of the things you'll notice is you got these two little clips. So all that does is it helps support your uh, heating rack. So it'll just set on top of there. Okay, it's not going to move. And that's all there is to that part. Okay, so your final rack I put on, there's two holes. There's one here and another one over here. And on your top part, in your uh, top part of your grill, there's a hole here and another one here. So you put those in there, fit them in, just pop them in these little holes, and then it just simply closes and opens, okay? And that's all there is to that. So we only have one piece left, and it is the actual piece that goes on to hold your propane tank in place, just to help secure it. So we're going to do that, and then we will be done. So this is your final piece. This is the final piece that's going to go on. This is going to hook on, and then what happens is it'll set in there, it braces against, okay, it'll brace against your propane tank and help to keep it from moving. Okay, so I just want to show you where that last little bar goes. There's two little holes, one here, one there. Once you put your tank on and you got everything hooked up, this just goes up, hooks on, and that's it. And that completes our barbecue. So there's only one thing to do. Oh, well, Sparky wanted to get in the picture. Sorry there, buddy. No time for you today. Well, at least not right now. So that's all there is to it. We're going to take it outside and we're going to hook it up and I'm going to have a barbecue. Okay, so our last process is hooking up the tank and you can see where the bar now goes up. It doesn't really lock it in place very well, I will say that, but it, it at least is there. So now we're just going to fire it up and make sure it all works. Okay, so we got her up. I've turned it on. Push the automatic start. And make sure you leave the grill, the uh, lid up when you do this. Turn your gas on. Okay, turn your valves on. Push your automatic start and then you can see it. You can see it all going. Now, let it burn for a little while without anything on it. Just to burn any greases that are there and just burn them all off. Then you can fire up and do whatever else you want to cook. Hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever it means to be. All right. So here's what you get after you put your barbecue together and you get to have great looking delicious hot dogs or you can have burgers, whatever you want to do. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you liked that video. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, hit the dislike. As I said in the beginning, think about subscribing. Help me out with TubeBuddy if you want to use TubeBuddy. It's just an add-on for uh, YouTube and it'll help you out with your channel. And it's like, actually completely free. And the link just helps me out. Otherwise, if you don't like it, you know what to do. Leave me a comment. If you have questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. I'm not going to have a video like this too often, but that was just a, a different path to go along and see what it might be like to build a barbecue for the first time. I bought them, had them built, but I thought, I'm going to learn everything there is about it. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And if you want to stay tuned for the next one, think about clicking that little bell for notifications so when my next video pops out, you'll be able to see it as soon as it comes out. Thank you.